Today, I made $10,000 within the first 25 minutes of market open by day trading options on a stock called Tesla. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what Tesla is. And if you guys know what Tesla is, I'm pretty sure that you guys also know Tesla had a huge rally recently. It has moved from around $900 to around $1,100. That is approximately $200 move in two days, which is insane. This insane move on Tesla reminds me of Tesla from 2020. If you guys were trading in 2020, Tesla had a huge rally towards the upside from February to December 2020. In 2021, Tesla has been good, but not as good as in 2021. But in these past few weeks, I would say in the last one to two weeks, Tesla is getting that momentum back again, and who knows how much it can rally further. But our job as a day trader is not to predict the stock price, but trade what is presented to us every single market open day. And in this video, I will be showing you guys exactly how I traded Tesla, making $10,000 within the first 25 minutes minutes of market open. In total, on this day, I took three trades. My first trade was on SQ. That was a loser. My other two trades were on Tesla. Both were winners. Let's first break down my game plan and my play on SQ. Then I will jump on to Tesla. All these trades were from the game plan that I post every single market open day on our Discord group. If you guys want to be part of our Discord group, the link will be in the description box below. My play on SQ was that it's been making a bull flag on the one day chart. It had a rally towards the upside. It's kind of making a flag pattern here. I wanted to cast the break of 265 towards the upside. The next level on the one day chart is the 268 around, which is the high of this day. And then finally, my ultimate profit target, if we get the volume, was the break of $270 level towards the upside. Here's a recording of my trade on SQ. At the open, we saw that SQ had huge volume here. The R wall is still low, but we saw increase in volume and a huge rally towards the upside within the first one minute of market open. I wanted to cast the break of 265 towards the upside. So when I saw a bit of buying momentum around 264.5, I entered 20 contracts. I'm trading 265 calls and my fill price was 4.20. I'm trading the same week expiry contracts. My entry on SQ was right here, but it failed to push towards the upside even though the tech sector QQQ was pushing towards the upside. On this candle itself, when it made this wake, my premiums were slightly in the money. I wanted to cast the break of 265. That did not happen. Even though the tech sector was pushing towards the upside, the buyers were not stepping up on SQ. That's why I exited my position with a small loss at a fill price of 3.95, overall losing $500 on this trade. Green or red doesn't matter. But if I rate this trade, I think it's 10 out of 10 trade because this was a small loser. If I would have held this trade in hopes of catching the break of 265, again we saw a sell-off on sq in the next few minutes and i could have easily lost more than thousand dollars plus on this one let's now jump on to my game plan on tesla but before we do that give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification because you guys will get notified every time i release a new video and i'm releasing two to three new videos every single week on day trading Let's look at the daily chart of Tesla. Recently, it had a huge rally. It has moved from around $760 to $1,000 plus in the past few weeks. Unfortunately, I missed this move on Tesla because if you guys know, I only trade for the first one to two hours of market open. Sometimes you miss moves like these when you're only trading for the first two hours because it broke the $1,000 level later in the afternoon. But if I look at the benefits of this rule, I think the benefits outweigh the negatives. The benefits are that this rule avoids me from from over trading. I don't take a lot of trades when I'm only trading for the first two hours of market open. And this rule also avoids me from taking irrational trades later in the afternoon because usually 99% of the days in the afternoon, the volume is very low with choppy price action. After missing Tesla on this day, I was still liking it towards the upside if we can get a pullback entry because Tesla had huge volume the day before. So we don't have any levels on top of us. It broke all time high. So we just have to depend on the intraday price action. If it makes a triangle or maybe a flag pattern, I wanted to catch the break of a critical level or maybe the yesterday high, which was around 1045 level. On top of us, we have the 1050 critical level. And if we break 1050, we might see a next push towards the upside. This is my first trade on Tesla. And actually, this is a very good entry, but I wasn't able to execute properly on this day. 
I was able to predict the stock direction. If you see my entry, I took calls here right at the bottom. I took that trade because I saw that 1025 is holding on the level two and the time in sales. A lot of big orders are going through above 1025. So I had an idea that buyers want to hold 1025 level. So if I enter right here, and this is the previous day close as well, this dotted line, it was holding it in the pre-market itself. So I expected some kind of support here, especially because it's previous day close and I'm looking a lot of buying momentum on the tape. After seeing that at the break of 1025 towards the upside, I got filled five contracts. I'm trading 1050 calls, same week expiry contracts and my fill price was 18.52. After my initial entry on this trade, we saw a small pullback, but my premiums were still holding very, very strongly. I was expecting a break of the VWAP and a push towards the upside. At the break of 1030, I added five more contracts to my position. I added five more contracts at a fill price of 20.20, expecting VWAP to break and a continuation towards the upside. But we saw a bit of rejection around 1035. I see a few big orders going through at 1032. That's why I covered five contracts at a fill price of 20.90. I was still holding five of my contracts, but when I saw that 1030 is not holding and it's coming under 1030, I exited the remaining five contracts at a fill price of 20.03, which was in the best exit in the world. I made $1,000 on this trade, but let me forward this recording by a few minutes and explain myself. Here's a screenshot of Tesla after a few minutes. My entry was right here. I was able to score a really good entry. I added at the break of the VWAP and I exited all my position right around here near the VWAP. I exited this position because if you look at the Tesla chart from yesterday, it made a triangle on the one minute chart, something like this. It tested the low of the day a few times and then it pushed towards the upside. I was expecting some kind of similar price action on Tesla. That's why I was very quick in taking my profits. But if I would have given this trade maybe one one or two more minutes. My premiums are at $25. So this could have been a really good trade if I would have held it for a few more minutes. But it is what it is. I'm just showing you guys the reality here. We can't always go the perfect entries and exits in this world. Our job as day trader is to learn from our mistakes and then keep improving so that you can take your trading to the next level. But we all make these mistakes. Our job as traders is to learn from these mistakes. This is my last trade on Tesla and it had a huge rally towards the upside just before the break of high of the day it made a wick that was a bullish wick and we saw this small flag pattern on the one minute chart that's why i was very confident on this trade because that is around the yesterday high as well this dotted line is the yesterday high it made a new high of the day there's a big order at 1050 level if buyers are able to take that order, we might even see 1055 in the next few minutes. That's why just before the break of 1050 and even before the break of high of the day, around 1048 to 1047, I entered 20 contracts. I'm trading 1100 calls, same week expiry contracts, and my fill price was 14.54. I'm going a bit out the money on this trade because I'm increasing my contract size because I want to take more partials. And because of this huge Tesla move recently, even these out the money contracts are moving really, really really nicely. I will show you guys my exits on a screenshot because I held this trade for around 10 minutes. So the video will be very, very long if I play the recording for 10 minutes. But we saw a small flag pattern right here just before the break of 1055. I held through this small pullback because I was expecting a bigger move towards the upside. This pullback red candle on low volume is kind of expected after a critical level break. On the next push up around 1057, I took 10 contracts out at a fill price of 17.55. On this week, I kept taking my profits, two contracts at 18.90, three at 20.70, and two at 20.12. So you guys can see, even the premiums are moving around 200 to $300 in one candle itself. So the option premiums on Tesla, because of this huge move recently, are very, very volatile. So they are moving really, really quick. I was only holding three out of my 20 contracts. At the break of 1065, I covered another contract at a fill price of 21.05. And at the break of 1070, I covered the rest two contracts around $25 each. In total, making $9,600 on this trade in 10 minutes. Finally, when everything was said and done, let's look at my PL. I made $10,158 within the first 25 minutes of market open. My first entry was at 9.33 a.m. My last exit on Tesla was at 9.54 a.m. Making $10,000 within the first 25 minutes of market open, even after messing up on that second trade, I think it's a pretty good day but I could have done a better job on my second trade 
as a day trader it's not only about learning from your red days you have to learn from your green days as well your green trades as well what you could have done better and that's how you take it to the next level if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification because i'm releasing two to three new videos on day trading every single week if you guys don't follow me on instagram make sure that you follow me there because i am posting a lot of good day trading content on instagram as well the link will be in the description box below thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video